One of the boldest dreams in history was set forth by John F. Kennedy on May 25, 1961. With Russia clearly ahead in the space race, the president challenged the USA to land a man on the moon and bring him safely back to Earth before the end of the decade. He dared, now it is time for this nation to take a clearly leading role in space achievement. On July 20, 1969, it happened. Neil Armstrong walked on the surface of the moon. Friends, I'd like to share with you the most daring evangelistic dream in Amazing Facts 50-year history. This is a dream that we've been praying about and working towards for more than a decade now. And our goal, together with your prayerful support, will involve winning a different kind of space race. My prayer is that you'll join arms with us in the single most important step of faith that Amazing Facts has ever undertaken. It's a bold 96,000 square foot global evangelism vision. Let me explain. I often lay awake at night praying about how Amazing Facts can more effectively spread the gospel. I'm so thankful for the thousands that we're reaching for the Lord. But then I remember that 80 million new people are added to the world's population each year, most of them in countries that know little about Jesus. In fact, in the time it takes you to hear this message, 2,500 babies will be born. And yet in that same time period, only 10 souls will be baptized into the remnant church. This is why the Lord has placed a huge burden on my heart to greatly broaden our outreach and to build a pulpit to the world for the last days. Today, Amazing Facts has a different kind of space challenge. We are simply bursting at the seams with no room to grow. The limitations of our aging facilities are restricting our ability to do evangelism, while God is still calling us to go into all the world. For example, offices designed for one person now seat three or four or more. Our burgeoning warehouse requires us to dot the property with rented storage containers in order to hold the overflow of materials that we're shipping to people who are searching. Our media studio cannot accommodate the sets and equipment that are needed for our evangelistic productions. And noise from neighboring industries frequently interrupts taping. The church auditorium where we record the weekly services is squeezed into a converted one-story office park by a train track. It's inadequate, and it doesn't represent the broadcast we need to reach the world for Christ. The good news is that our problem is really an indication of God's blessing. It shows how the Lord has used your faithfulness to multiply His work. Yet we are now at the crossroads of tremendous need and opportunity to expand the reach so that more souls will hear the everlasting gospel. For several years now, with the ministry growing, we have seen the day was coming when we would need to plan ahead for a larger place to do God's end time work. 10 years ago, with help of supporters like you, Amazing Facts purchased 75 beautiful acres on a hilltop overlooking Sacramento. Praise God, the land is all paid for and permits necessary to build are now approved. With your support, we are embarking on our biggest, most daring vision of faith, to build an international evangelism media and training facility. We're calling it the Word Center. Word stands for World Outreach Revival and Discipleship. This new launch pad will be adequately sized and equipped to expand our global ministries and to transform many more lives for Christ. The Word Center will consist of two functional buildings that will bring the fragmented operations of Amazing Facts into one efficient location. The first building will be a new home facility for the office and administration operations. The second building is a 1,400-seat training and worship center where we can broadcast and record the Amazing Facts programs at the highest level of quality to people around the world. It'll also serve as a center of missionary training for thousands of men and women who will be traveling to foreign lands and home churches armed with evangelistic passion and Bible truth. The need for Amazing Facts to expand is clear, but we simply cannot do it in the limited facilities we have now. Ellen White says in the book Evangelism, page 46, we're altogether too narrow in our plans. 
We must get away from our smallness and make larger plans. There must be a wider reaching forth to work for those who are near and those who are far off. God has already inspired others to step forward in faith. Through current commitments from supporters and the sale of our existing property, we will have more than 60% of the funds needed to complete the project. But we're still going to need you and other ministry partners to step forward and to meet the $10.1 million necessary to complete construction. I know that's a big number, but just as God has brought us this far, I believe He's gonna take us all the way. This is no time to pull back now. Christ's commission calls us to courageously reach higher. I had found amazing facts online and was watching hours of sermons each day, spending more time with Pastor Doug Batchelor and really getting a lot of the answers to the questions that I was seeking out. I was so excited about what I was learning that I was trying to convert my hardened criminal friends with the historicals of prophecy. My life has been changed by Jesus Christ and amazing facts. I remember listening on my radio to Pastor Doug Batchelor, and it was there that my relationship with Christ began. My life has changed because of this ministry, and I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Friends, there are hundreds of stories I could tell you of how Amazing Facts is touching lives and transforming people for eternity. Let me tell you something that happened to me about two weeks ago. I was in Florida at a National Religious Broadcasters Convention. One of the guest speakers there is the pastor of the largest church in the world, Dr. Satish Kumar. He has a church in Andhra Pradesh that has 160,000 members. In fact, he's very famous now because he's built a church for 18,000 people in 52 days. Well, when I saw him at the seminar, he came up to me and he said, can I have a picture with you? He said, I watch Amazing Facts programs all the time. It is such a blessing. And then later, the next day, he was making a presentation to a room full of evangelical Christians. And he said, I'm so thankful to see Amazing Facts here. I'm so blessed by Amazing Facts programs. And he then commenced to tell the people about the second coming and the Sabbath. Friends, what you're doing for Amazing Facts is making a big difference in the lives of thousands of people around the world. When I look into the faces of people who are transformed through your gifts to Amazing Facts, well, that's what gives me the courage to ask you to take this daring step of faith with me by making what is perhaps your largest commitment ever. It says in Acts 4:34, nor was there anyone among them who lacked, for all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them and they brought the proceeds of these things that were sold. This is the time and this is the kind of project that is worthy of a grand sacrifice. We all know someday our money will be worthless. So let's give now, while the doors to freely proclaim the gospel are still open. Let us now build for eternity a pulpit to the world for the last days, a church that will build other churches. Friends, can I kindly ask you to take a moment, and if you're able, you may even kneel down and pray, even now, and say, Lord, what would you want to do through me? God has giant plans for you to help reach every person on earth. Will you join Amazing Facts in accomplishing this bold vision by helping build the Word Center and reaching millions of people for Christ. I'm dreaming of a place that will be a church for people across the street and around the world. A church where the Word of God will be faithfully and fearlessly proclaimed through global television stations, through the international internet, through satellites in space. A place where God will be worshiped the way He longs to be worshiped by people on earth with reverence and truth and joy. I'm dreaming of a place for training a young army of evangelists, missionaries, and Bible workers, and a place that will launch them into the world with the three angels' messages burning in their hearts. A place where people battered by sin can turn to find hope, grace, and forgiveness. Help us build this place. A place for God to be glorified, a place for you. Now friends, I realize you may have some questions, and so if you'd like to know more about this important project, we'd encourage you to visit afwordcenter.org. God bless you.